Like one of Scandinavia's most ambitious films. Why would you say that is? Well, it's uh, shot uh, at sea. Uh, there's lots, lots of effects, uh, sharks, and whale sharks, and everything, and it's it's just a great adventure. And it's ambitious because uh, we also shot it in six different countries. There's uh, over a thousand people actually <laughs> has been part of it. So, which is you know we're usually. 20, I guess, making a movie, we were doing it in Scandinavia. No, it's, it's really been uh, an amazing uh, couple of years making this film. Thor Heyerdahl is now recognized as an icon and people really admire the work that he did, but for a while before his journey, people thought he was crazy. Nobody really recognized you know, how brilliant he was. What aspect of your work do you think people will start to recognize and appreciate years from now that maybe they don't now? Wow, that's a big, big question. <laughs> that's a very big question. <laughs> well, I think... Uh, Please recognize yeah. it now. Please come <laughs> yeah. to the movie theaters. Yeah, <laughs> Start no. off, starts on the 26th. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I think um, this film, um, it was a story we grew up with. So I think that um, the it's just an amazing story. And I think we gravitate towards that. I, I mean, all filmmakers do that, I, I, I'm for sure. Um, but that will always be the, the starting point. There's so much great drama on television these days. So I think that we, we like our movies to be uh, for the theater. And uh, you know, what makes people go to the theater? And I think that they need to have... We like the epicness, I guess, and that could be also on an emotional level. Mm -hmm. That we also like to use the whole canvas and and, uh, and, and open it up. What about the look of the film? There's a lot of light tones, and a lot of the costumes are white. Why did you choose those colors? Well, they are uh, correct according to the period. Um, we uh, shot it with digital cameras. That's why the has uh, a very sharp and clear quality to it um, and we wanted to mute the tones because there's so much nature and we didn't want to compete with that. We wanted to really make it an exotic journey for the audience uh, and uh, you know BBC and Disney and National Geographic are making these spectacular documentaries about nature and we wanted to top that and, and blend it with great uh, acting. Hyredale inspired legions of explorers. How do you hope that Kontiki inspires up-and-coming filmmakers? Well, uh, we hope that it inspires filmmakers uh, to dare to be brave and, and do what they uh, dream of, basically. Or he was uh, terrified of water, he couldn't swim, but he tied these nine logs together and drifted across the Pacific. So I think that's a strong testament to what you can do if you overcome your fears. Be brave.